Let's talk about keywords and metadata in Adobe Bridge. These are very powerful features of Bridge that allow you to add keywords to files and also uh, look at metadata. Well, what is metadata? Well, if you're not seeing the metadata window, just come in and make sure that it's checkmarked here in the Windows panel and you'll find it right here, all right? So if I click on an image, the metadata will tell you things like what size it is in pixels, how big it is, uh, what the resolution is, what color profile, and it'll give you a lot of other information as well. But there is a, a certain kind of data that you can change yourself. So for example, all of these with little pencil icons by them are metadata that's able to be changed by you. So for example, if I had taken all these pictures, I could come here to the copyright notice and put my name as the copyright owner. And here in the copyright status, I could mark it copyrighted. Now to set those in place, you have to check this check mark down here. All of those images have that metadata embedded right into the image itself. So if you're trying to protect your images and things like that, that's what metadata is for. Now you can, you can search by date created and author's name and copyright and everything else over here in the filter menu. Let's talk about that in relation to keywords. Keywords are things that you can add to your pictures. So for example, let me add a new keyword and I'll call it seasons. Now I will select all of these and check mark seasons and those have all been given the keyword of seasons now create another one, summer, and I will add that into my seasons folder. Let's create another one, fall, and I will add that into my seasons subgroup, and let's call another one winter, and add that in as well. So I've got my three spring ones highlighted. I'm going to check them. I'm going to do my summer ones. I'll check those. My autumn ones. I'll check those. And my winter images and I will check those. All right, so what's the advantage of, of doing that, well then you can search for keywords over here. So if I click on fall, there's all my fall images. No matter where they are in my collection, there's all the seasons ones, there's the spring ones, the summer ones, and so forth.